Okay, we're back again with AMD. They just finished uh, their RX 6000 series launch, and we're gonna talk about it. Okay, so from that launch announcement, we now have three new GPUs to look forward to, and that is the RX 6800, the RX 6800 XT, and the RX 6900 XT. Now that last one, I didn't really see coming, but of course, there was probably rumors or something like that and I just completely missed it. Now, just like on the last launch, when it came to the CPUs, AMD's goals uh, for this launch wasn't actually that much different. More performance with less power. First thing they did is they went ahead and redesigned the cache. Now, you know that on their uh, RX 5000 series CPUs, this was a step they took as well, where they redesigned how the cache system worked. Uh, over on only this time here in the GPUs, they're calling it Infinity Cache and apparently it gives them double the bandwidth that they used to get from their previous generation so there's definitely benefits to be had there and now they claim that they can have 54 percent per watt over the previous generation which is pretty big now before i get into uh talking specifically about the gpus i want to talk about the software features uh that they were showing off on this launch this launch event the gpus are coming with what's called a rage mode hold your applause for the name it is a one-click overclocking mode uh, which allows the user to no longer have to sit there and fiddle with you know msi afterburner which is what we usually do when it comes to overclocking gpus amd is claiming however that you should use it because it directly affects the benchmarks that they were showing along with one other mode which is called amd smart access memory this one here is pretty amazing because according to them if you're using an rx 5000 series cpu you should be able to access the memory of the gpu which is around 16 gigs if you if you have noticed we're, we're going to talk about the gpu stats in a little bit but you should be able to access the gpu memory from your cpu and somehow be able to boost the gpu's performance uh with those with that combination but this is specific to the ryzen 5000 series cpus so of course the biggest question when you hear something like this is well are the benchmarks that were showed with these two modes enabled, which they did show benchmarks with them both enabled, and they did look good. But how good is the GPUs without those modes enabled? So it, that's that's what uh, a lot, I'm sure a lot of reviewers are going to be bringing up, and that's exactly why you should always wait for the reviews before actually ordering any other GPUs or any CPU hardware for that matter, because you never know exactly how good it really is until the reviews come out. Now, the next thing they want to talk about is uh, the anti-lag mode, which the, the current, the, according to them, this mode combined with FreeSync should give you on average about eight milliseconds drop in latency when it comes to your games, which again, is pretty significant, especially if you're a pro gamer. So, but the, the same thing applies yet again. Uh, this mode, this new feature, this anti-lag feature requires you to also have FreeSync in order to get the most out of it. Without it, you're probably not gonna get eight milliseconds uh, latency at all, or eight milliseconds reduced latency at all. So again, more things for so for people to try out to see exactly how good it is, or how good the, these cards are when they're not being used with an AMD system. Another thing they wanted to bring up was that, uh, of course, they have much better support for DX12. They claim that they were working with Microsoft uh, side by side to better the support for the GPUs, and they, and they brought on a plethora of features. Um, from DX12, and they also have ray tracing as well. This is uh, all the cards coming out in this series are ray tracing enabled. They support it fully. Uh, this is the first time for AMD, as you know that uh, before this, only the consoles supported ray tracing. Even though those consoles had AMD chips, those were custom chips made for the consoles for the Xbox and the Play and the PS5. Now this is time for the consumers, for the actual PC users. We now have AMD cards that fully support ray tracing. Another thing that I'm also hoping for is that all of this software stuff that we just talked about somehow filters down into streaming, which was not talked about much at all. And that kind of worries me. Again, uh, when it comes to NVIDIA, uh, they have NV Inc. And we know how well that works for streamers and how well that works for YouTubers and content creators because you know it, it gives you a boost in Premiere and a boost in may, many other applications, I'm guessing. Uh, that is able to use that software in order to fully utilize the GPU and the CPU at the same time. Now about the cards that are coming out, let's go ahead and run down the specs of each of these cards. All right, we have the RX 6800 XT. This one is made to compete with the RTX 3080. 
It has 72 compute units, 2 gigahertz game clock, 2.2 gigahertz boost clock, 300 watts, and it is $649. And this card, along with the RX 6800, will be released around November 18th. So mark your calendars if you're um, trying to get into foreign because these these cards will sell out. They will have better stock, I'm sure, than Nvidia, but they're still gonna sell out. The next one is the RX 6800. Uh, this card is made to compete with the 2080 Ti, which also means that it competes with the RTX 3070, which was not out yet back when they did their last event, which is probably the reason why you didn't see that card uh, show up in this current launch event right now. Uh, you have 1.8 gigahertz game clock, 2.1 gigahertz boost clock, um, 16 gigs of GDDR6, and 250 watts. You have a price of 579 and of course, like I said, November 18th for that card. The last one is the RX 6900 XT. This is the card they say for the very last at the end of the, uh, the show. However, I'm a little more confused with this card than uh, when it came to the, the CPU event. Let me tell you why. This is 6900 XT. It has 65% more performance per watt, which is great. Uh, but then it, it competes with the 3090 with Rage Mode and Smart Access Memory enabled. Key thing there. And then uh, you have the 80 compute units, 2 gigahertz game clock, 2.2 gigahertz boost clock, 16 gigs of memory, just like the RX 6800 XT and the RX 6800. <laughs> And then you also have 300 watts. And of course, they're recommending this for 4K, apparently for a higher FPS gaming at 4K. This one's a little bit confusing to me. This card is $1,000, $999, as they put in the uh, launch event. So the, my problem with this is, is that the card is the same size as a 6800 XT. It seems to me like this is not so much... Um, this is not so much a redesigned or has some sort of different chips inside on this card. It seems like they bend the RX 6800 XT and from that bending came the 6900 XT. I'm, I could be wrong, but the fact that the card is the exact same size as the 6800 XT has almost the exact same specs as the 6800 XT as far as hardware is concerned but yet it cranks out 65% more per watt instead of the 54% that the 6800 XT does. It's a little weird. And uh, again, we'll have to wait for the reviews. However, we have to wait longer for this car because the 6900 XT releases December 8th. So that is pretty much everything that I, um, AMD talked to us about at, at this per launch event. Very excited for this new hardware. I am truly excited that AMD is finally competing on the high-end GPU level. They've been mid to low for years. I think Lisa has something really good for us, and I, I truly believe that this is gonna be a great launch for them. If you think that these cars are not gonna sell out, I don't care if it's what is TSMCC or whatever the hell it is, as manufacturing and chips, I don't care what, what it is. These cars are going to sell out immediately on day one, I guarantee you. So just wait for the reviews, and then get your clicking fingers ready. If you really want an AMD card, you really, you really got to be on it. But I'm pretty sure they're going to at least do better than NVIDIA. <laughs> okay, I hope you guys found this informative. I uh, hope you're just excited as everyone, as me and, and many other people for what AMD has done so far this year. And of course, let me know down in the comments. Is this going to be the, the, cards you're, the cards you're going for? Are you going to go AMD? Are you going to wait for, for the release and for the reviews to make your decision on whether you're going to do NVIDIA or AMD? Let me know down below what your thoughts are or anything else for that matter. But while you're down there, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I got more tech videos coming for you all the time. Don't forget to hop over to twitch.tv slash to see me gaming. So my, all my games is over there on Twitch. So I hope to see you there whenever I am streaming. You have a good one. Bye.